this may be my ridiculous question. This may be my Ali G question of the, the, the chat. But I'm going to ask it anyway. It, what constitutes a fact? What is a fact? You're laughing. So, if, you know, or is I'm laughing? It's so, because 20 years ago, if you had asked that question, people would have looked at you as though you were bonkers. Right? <laughs> um, a fact is something where the evidence for it is so strong that no reasonable person would doubt it. And that, it doesn't mean that every fact is immutable, right? You know, it doesn't mean that you have a fact which cannot possibly be proved wrong tomorrow. Right. It means that unless you are completely batshit crazy, you are happy to accept the evidence that that thing is true. Right. So the, the problem is that quite a lot of people want to, that they think they have a right to believe what they want. And that means that they, are, they have a right to make up facts because it's assumed that anything you believe must be a fact. But that's coming at it the other way around. It's saying that I believe this and therefore it's a fact rather than here is the evidence and here is the fact and I base my beliefs on that. And the problem is the desperation to hold on to any kind of ideological viewpoint and the only way in a rational society, the only way to do that and not admit that you're crazy is to say that everything you believe is a fact. And that's become the new definition of fact. People are thinking they have a right what to believe, I believe things. What yeah. is a fact. Yeah. Okay. Which is a problem. It's like wow. Yeah. yeah. But it's also the other thing is that I I mean I feel I was brought up in a sort of very rational, non religious world. And it seems very complicated to because you can't trust anything in that world for you, right? Or just invented it. Yeah. And so it feels like you must go through with a lot of suspicion because you actually can't trust anything. You know, I can write about things falling down and I can go and drop something and it goes down and I can, you know, I can check where the case I don't have time to check everything I think about life. But if I want to, and I've done it for some things, you can tra trace the chain back and you can absolutely find out where it came from. But if you have this flexible view of the world where you, you just have an ideological thing that makes you feel comfortable and you want to pick things to leave, you can never trace them back to where they came from. You never ever trace the origin of that thought in a rational sense. You can do it in a cultural, you know, yeah, someone, yeah. someone wanted this to happen and so they said this. But it feels like a very uncertain world because if you if you step outside that circle, you're then not standing on anything. Whereas if I, you know, try something out, then I can find I can show it for myself. And if I don't show it for myself, I change what I think about it. So it sounds very stressful. Yeah. <laughs> to live the other way. I agree. Twelve oh one. Twelve oh one. Roger. Twelve oh one alarm.